What we really want to get the update today of our boars is what he's done with Car Expert and where that's gone because he's not once but twice he's out there proving that he can do it yet again. And so big thank you, our boys, for coming along today. Yeah, welcome. No, of course. Thanks, guys, for having me. It's always uh, nice to be uh, with you guys. It's a shame we can't do it in person in front of an audience, but uh, yeah. such is the world. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm world sure world. you'll share just like you always do. So <laughs> It's always nice to get the crowd feedback um, in person. Yeah. I really do. It's really lovely to get that energy, but yeah, that's okay. <laughs> well, it, it, I was just, you know, everyone's been asking, especially after last year's awesome interview at our event, at the three-dayer, and it seems like everyone's really looking forward to that update. So that's why, um, you yeah, know, thanks for coming along today to give us that update. Um, yeah, so what's been happening? Yeah. Where are you at now with Car Expert? So last time we spoke to you, uh, I think you were at about, oh, I think 300000 a month, which was phenomenal given its age. Um, where are you now? What's happening? Yeah, so we, um, we launched a website in sort of late April 2020 um, as, a, as a beta uh, we didn't actually launch version one in September 2020. Um, so we're just coming on a, a year now from the real sort of website. Um, that wasn't just a WordPress blog, just to sort of get it up and going. Uh, so last month, we did over 900,000 unique visitors to the site. Um, so that's not that's not visits, that's visitors, that's people, um, in, you know, individual people, and which is pretty crazy. Um, yeah. Like when, when, I, um, when I left car advice uh i think we're only maybe 30 percent bigger so uh, it, it's a crazy amount of visits to get to the site in such a short period of time but yeah i mean i guess we we took the best people uh, all the knowledge uh you know over over 100 years of combined experience in the sector and we just put it back to use um and it goes to show you that if you know what you're doing you could do it pretty quickly so yeah yeah so so what do you what do you think is the main kind of things you learned from car advice that you've now applied across there that's made that journey so quickly because previously it took 10 years to get to that level now it's taken you two <laughs> 12 months so, so. yeah oh, what, look, I, I think, yeah i think to be fair to car advice i think previously it probably took us seven seven years to get to this level um uh and a, a lot of that had to do with um i guess the seo side the content side really understanding where to invest our time uh, also understanding consumer needs and consumer behaviors you know there was a lot of time spent at car advice driving supercars um which uh <laughs> doesn't as much as i love doing it uh, yeah, fun. Doesn't, really, yeah, fun. doesn't really help um you know we, we're not going after that audience we're going after the car buyer audience uh, which is where the money's at um so you know I, I think there was a and also from the business perspective um both from a technology data um, and just general business practices, we've got enormous um, experience compared to car advice. So there's a lot less time wasted. We had everything set up properly, ready to go this time with the right picks. It's literally an, a case in point example of that if you've got the right team, you can actually build something that works quite rapidly. Mm. And for you, Albors, is it still after all these years all about SEO and good content? Always about good content and SEO in that order. Um, I, I wouldn't yeah. put it the other way around. I think SEO is fundamentally important, but SEO without a high velocity of content, you know, like we, 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 that, that's literally all I do. I reckon 50% of my days is, is, is SEO related. And we've got a, basically a full-time SEO guy who's amazing as well. Um, and we work together to sort of build that up. And yeah, I mean, our, our traffic from an SEO perspective, it's, it, it's like 20, 30% up month on month, every month at the moment. Wow. Um, and it just improves, like, you know, and, and there's so much volume of searches for car stuff that the traffic obviously reflects that. So like a 5% improvement will get you an extra, you know, half a million visits um, or something like that. Like wow. it's ridiculous. So wow. you know, wow. we've, we've just, we just got to keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. So that's what we're doing. And one of the things that I think you've excelled at is going into, let's talk about the market. It's hyper competitive. And that's one of the things you've always said to our audiences um, you, you, people have these perceptions about your competitors out of big, big, you're up against really big corporates and always have been. And I know you're a fighter and, you know, you, you like to beat them, but, but can you give us some, some comments on where that's at now too and what, what you've learned over the last decade, say, taking on these big corporates when it comes to SEO? Yeah, look, I think um, the greatest advantage of 
uh, I guess most of the guys listening to this and most of the people you guys uh, talk to is, is that they are in a nimble, uh, small to medium sized mm-hmm. business, usually maybe it's themselves and some, some staff or, you know, friends or family. Um, that gives you enormous opportunity to make decisions rapidly and, and implement changes in technology a lot faster. I, I can tell you having, having been acquired by a big, uh, well, Australia's largest media company, um, that things go a lot slower. Uh, and decisions get made a lot slower after that because there's so many stakeholders and so many meetings and so much paperwork to get anything signed off and done. And then no one wants to actually have the onus of responsibility if it goes wrong. So no one wants to change anything, right? So um, as as a result of that, if you are building a, a, a sort of a new website or an existing website, don't be afraid to change. Um, don't be afraid to implement new things. Don't be afraid to try something. And if it doesn't work, like just, like you gotta be able to fail. Um, and, you know, we did a, a bit of that at Car Expert as well as Car Advice. Like, despite all our learnings, I reckon mm-hmm. nine out of the ten things that we did worked because we knew they worked because we'd done them before. And then yeah. all the new things that we tried, some of it worked and some of it didn't. But we knew mm-hmm. pretty quickly that what, what was working or what wasn't. And we're also very happy to keep trying. So, actually, speaking of competition, I think a lot of people kind of think that, oh, well, you did it 10 years ago for Car Advice and that's not possible for me now. And I think that's a really good, like what you're doing right now is showing that, yes, and in any market at any stage, you can grow a business. Yeah, I I think, look, even when we first started Car Expert last year, there was a bit of just a tiny bit of doubt in my mind whether (laughs) it was possible for a startup media publishing business, basically, uh, you know, a, a website that publishes content to be able to, in this day and age, compete with the mm. big guys who have now had 15 years of exposure to understanding SEO and all that sort of stuff. And they've got these massive network effects, right? Mm-hmm. Where they're all linking to each other and things like that. And I was like, mm, this is going to be quite challenging. Um, but ultimately, and, and don't get me wrong, it was challenging. And it is challenging even today. Like, you know, we, we still don't rank first for most things, but we're always on the first page now. Um, but what it has shown me is that you can do it. Uh, mm-hmm. as long as you're patient and you're willing to put in the work. And, and I think more importantly, it really does show you that the velocity of really high quality content is now more important than mm-hmm. ever before. Obviously having your structure mm-hmm. right, your SEO titles right and all that is, that's basic fundamentals. But writing content that people actually want to read, um, yes. that gives all the right signals to Google. So it's a time on page, you know, session duration, page duration. That stuff has massive impacts. And you know, we just proved that by writing really high quality content in a website that works better, we managed to outrank. I mean, we're outranking car sales on, on like really big uh, search terms. And that's a, you know, I think, it's, I don't know, it's like a, I don't know how many billion dollar company it is, but it's, it's bloody enormous, right? Like it's a, yeah. it's a multi, multi-billion dollar company. Um, and for another little uh, upstart blog to outrank them on some of Australia's best-selling cars, it, it does put a little smile on my face. I, I do Google it <laughs> almost every 15 minutes sometimes just to make myself feel better. Um, yeah, that's where traffic comes from. So, you know, the, the whole process, like at the moment, as, I, as we record this, every single car dealership in Sydney and Melbourne is closed. Um, yeah, that's true. They're allowed to sell cars. So, yeah. you know, we're in a business uh, in the auto sector that uh, is currently not trading almost. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, and yet you're and yet, still getting 900,000 unique visitors. Yeah, and growing That's rapidly. Awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it, it took me, it, it took us seven, maybe eight years to get there at Car Advice. That's yeah. brilliant. That's the power of experience though, because I like your expectations now, I'm assuming, of a business are mm. at a different level. Like when you think back to when you started Car Advice, your levels of expectation were probably very different to what you've got now. Yeah, I, I remember at Car Advice when, we got, a, we got a deal across the line with a manufacturer that was willing to pay us $9,000 a month. And I thought, that's it. We've made it. <laughs> I, nine grand a month. I can retire. You know? and, and, and it's like, I look at it now and I go, that's almost insulting to, uh, <laughs> sort of, to get an offer like that. You know, like, um, yeah, but it is, it is the power. It's, it's, it's a half expectation, half belief. Um, but also, I think the industry is so small that once you get known, I don't, I don't think people underestimate us as much as they did the first mm-hmm. time. Perhaps, uh, yeah, I think. So. Yeah. I think. So. Do you think you know your value too this time? Um, yeah, I mean, we don't have any ads on our website. I don't know if you noticed. 
Um, yeah, you've got a totally different monetization a, model too. Totally different monetization model that's roughly, I think, 52 or 53% higher in the click-through rate than, an ad, than a display advertisement. Mm. So it yeah. works really, really well. And I guess the product proved itself really quickly to the market because they're like, you know, we all, we said to all of them to start with, you know, you know us, you trust us, come on board, we'll give you a, you know, 20 grand trial. And if you don't like it, we'll give you your money back. And no one's ever asked for it back. And in fact, all have come back and spent more. So awesome. because yeah. the product works, it, it, it delivers results that traditional display advertising doesn't deliver. And, you know, you've got the SEO feeding in the car buyers, the content uh, solidifying their decision and making them, like whether this, they should buy this card or not. And then our product, which then leads them to go that, take that extra step in the car buying journey. Um, mm. And ultimately mm. our job is to help connect the right person with the right car. And, you know, in the process, we, we collect some money, um, which the manufacturers are more than happy to pay for. So it's, it's a great so, business. So, oh, it's interesting. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go on. I was just interested in you said that mm. our, our goal is to correct, collect, connect the right person with the right car. And I think that's a really important kind of foundation to a business is that your intention is to help people. Yeah, yeah. I, I, well, I mean, that, that's, I guess that was also our intention at Car Advice. And that's also what set us apart was that our intention wasn't to be a war journalist where we go out there and try and like make some really hard hitting news about, you know, what car executive, you know, said something that wasn't right or, you know what I mean? Like, our, our intention was simple. If you're looking to buy a car, you've got three to six months of research. We want to make that really easy for you. Here's all the cars you should look at. Here's the reasons why you should buy this one and not this one, blah, blah, blah. We stayed out of all the other bullshit that really was meant for perhaps the industry itself and not for the audience. We focus purely on the car buyer and the audience. And that's, mm -hmm. that's realistically the problem we're solving. We're not, we're not in the politics of it and, and we don't really frankly care. Um, and I think a lot of other publications sometimes get lost in the nitty gritty mm. stuff, they write for their own little inner circle, thinking other people give a shit. But the mum and dad that's Googling a Toyota RAV4, yeah. Australia's yeah, best right. selling SUV, couldn't care less about what some guy at Toyota said about something. He just, she just wants to know about the car and whether it's yeah. right for her. That's it. Yeah. And then in, rather than display ads, you use the anchor text yeah. links, don't you now? Yeah, con con contextual um, ad products um, that are sort of embedded into the review itself. So, you know, if you're reading a yeah. review of a um, Isuzu D-Max as an example, um, you know, midway through the review, there's actually, it's, it's words, it's not an ad product. It'll say like, you know, and mm -hmm. if you're interested, download a brochure or click here to book a test drive. And you know what? People are reading and going, you know, I am actually interested. Otherwise, you yeah. would be <laughs> reading it. Uh, <laughs> you know, they'll click on the link and it'll yeah. open the Isuzu website and they book and obviously Isuzu sees the results and goes, wow, these guys are delivering yeah. a lot of results for us. Um, yeah, that's because it's so simple because if you think about your own user behavior, if you're reading a review of say a fridge, I'm just, I'm dumbing it down instead of a car and you saw the ad for the fridge everywhere on the page, you're like, ah, oh, yeah. I'm probably not yeah. going to click on that because it feels like an advertisement, right? Yeah. And even if it isn't, in most cases it isn't, it's just that um, that's the model. The model has always been display advertising. Um, but if you're reading a review about a fridge and then somewhere through the review, it goes, and you know, if you're interested in buying this fridge, click here to get the best price or click here to find out what you probably would click on. Cause you're like, I am interested yeah. in this fridge. Yeah. You know, it's, it's helping me move further along the journey, but a display advertisement with, you know, with ad ad sort of stuff, we all just, we just block it out. We ignore it. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, yeah. Had, we literally had 14 years of data from car advice to show you, that, that didn't work anymore. It we'd worked at the beginning, mm -hmm. but yeah. towards the end, the click-through rate was like one in like ten thousand or something stupid. Yep. Just no one. Yep. It. And we reckon most of that was accidental. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. That's true. We did. Yeah. Yeah. So now it's easy for you to show value not only to the end user, but also to your this, let's call yeah. them sponsors, like the people, the, the business, the advertisers. The advertisers. But it's really easy. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's direct proof every single day. Exactly. That's right. So because our, um, because we're not like a huge uh, media publication with, you know, 10 million uh, unique visitors a month, uh, we need to make the most out of the visitors mm -hmm. that we have. And so we're really targeted in our approach. Yeah. We focus primarily, like, like you said before, Liz, we, we have a very focused model of connecting the right person with the right car. And if it doesn't fit, if what we're writing doesn't fit that simple sentence, we don't write it. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Isn't that an awesome, like a simple way to guide your content Absolutely. too? 
And and thank you for throwing in the big plug for SEO there. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> they hear it from you, oh, as, you as you do every without, year. Without it, without it, card wash wouldn't exist, and without it, car expert wouldn't exist. Simple as that. Yeah. Yeah, that is awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, Arbors, for sharing that update and letting us know where you're at now and where you're headed to. Very exciting times and a massive congratulations on creating an incredible site and hopefully award-winning site again. So thanks thanks so much again. Thank you.